activate Fluffy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Fluffy Wonders. <sighs> Are you ready, Mika? Yeah, Fluffy. Let's go. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. Do you want to have some fun? Let's have fun in the sun. Fun in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have fun in the sun. Fun in the sun. Hey, hey, hey. Let's have fun in the sun. Fun in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have fun in the sun. Fun in the sun. Summer is here, let's go and play. I wonder what fun we'll have today. Let's play catch with a ball and glove. Summer is the season that I love. We can splash in the swimming pool. Come on, Blue, you can join in too. I'm excited, I can't wait. Just remember to hydrate. Let's have fun in the sun. Fun in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have fun in the sun. Fun in the sun. Hey, hey, hey. Let's have fun in the sun. Fun in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have fun in the sun. Fun in the sun. Hey, Miss Sun, let's have some fun. Eating ice cream when the weather's hot. Please be careful or it will drop. The crew's eating popsicles, one for me, please. Oh no, watch out! Boom's got a brain freeze. I like two scoops on my ice cream cone for Debo too, instead of a phone. I'm excited, I can't wait. Just remember to hydrate. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey, hey, hey! Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey, Miss Sun, let's have some fun. Oh, hey there, Sun. Hey there, Blippi! When you're shining, it's so much fun. Hmm, I wonder. How do you shine so bright? Well, I'm actually a big ball of gas, which creates a lot of energy, both heat and light. Wow, that's so interesting. Okay, upload answer, Debo, and let's go. Driving around in the Blippi Mobile, me and Debo behind the wheel. Fun in the sun, playing on our speakers. Wind in our hair and feeling the beat, yeah. Summer is my favorite time of year. The sun shines bright and the sky is clear. I'm excited, I can't wait. Just remember to hydrate. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. This is so much yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. We can dig the pool with hey, our hey, excavator. Hey. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey there, sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey, Miss Sun, it's been so fun. Bye bye. Whoa, Tabs! Look at this amazing rainforest. <coughs> You're right. I bet all kinds of interesting animals are in there. I wonder what kind of animals live in a rainforest. I'm gonna need spider legs and the grabber arm. Spider legs, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Wow, this place is so green. They must get a lot of rain here. Yes, we do actually. Hey, it's me, Blippi. This is Tabs. 
Hello, I'm Vine. The giant panda bear. Glad to meet you. We want to know what kind of animals live in a rainforest. Can you show us around? Yes, okay. But I am meeting my sister for lunch and I'm always late, so I'd like to be there first for once. We won't be long. Super. Let's go see what we can find. Yeah! Thanks, bye. I do get a little hungry before lunch, so could you help me collect some bamboo on the way? Just for a snack. <laughs> sure. Whoa! This bamboo is as tall as a house. The juiciest shoots are at the top. Would you mind? Whoa! 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 Lovely! Whoa, look! There's a monkey. He's a golden monkey. Hi, Fred. Sorry, Fred. All pandas love bamboo. It's all we ever eat, actually. Not even ice cream? Not even ice cream. Unless it was bamboo flavor. Could you get me a little more bamboo? All this chewing makes me terribly hungry. Sure thing. There's a nice stalk just there. Whoa, little red bugs. Oh, it's Reese and Fiona. They're red bamboo weevils. Hi, buggies. Oh no, I'm going to be late again. Sorry, we need to go. Oh, not again. I'm sorry, but I was helping my new friends, Blippi and Tabs. Hello. <coughs> Could I possibly share some of your bamboo, please? Thanks for the tour, Bai. You really helped me answer my question. What kind of animals live in the rainforest? Golden monkeys, red beetles, and giant panda bears who love eating bamboo. <laughs> Upload answer tabs. I think it's time for a snack of our own. <laughs> See you later. Bye bye bye. Sure seems busy, and so does that one, and that one too. They're all so busy. <laughs> well, except that one. Those bees are busy making honey. Hmm, I wonder, how do bees make honey? Yes, let's go into the beehive. I'm gonna need wings and the excavator arm. Wings, excavator arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Now, we just need to make like a bee and be tinier. Shrinking down. You're right, Tabs. The bee's tongue is in the flower. Hey, it's me, Blippi. This is Tabs. I was wondering how you make honey. Hey, Blippi, I'm Bijon. Honey, huh? This is the place to be. <laughs> so I'm using my tongue to drink in this sweet nectar. It's how we bees start to make honey. OK, time to buzz. Into the beehive. Follow me. Spoiler, lots of bees working. It's like a honey factory in there. <laughs> Bijon. Are they all chewing nectar? Sure are. Gotta chew, that's what we do. Chewing makes it thicker. Can't have runny honey. Ha, 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 I rhymed again. <laughs> and after you chew, then you have honey? No, no, there's more to show. We chew, then we swallow. The nectar stays in our bellies, becomes honey, then we put it in the honeycomb. The honeycomb? Yep, we store the honey in the honeycomb. <gasps> Maybe I can taste some honey. Oh dear. This may look funny, but flapping our wings is how we make thicker honey. <laughs> it's a bee thing. Whoa. Yes, Tabs, I have the answer to my question. 
How do bees make honey? They get nectar from flowers, chew it, store it in their stomachs, then put the honey in a honeycomb and flap their wings over it. Upload answer tabs. Bye, Bijan. Thanks for being you. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Tabs, that bouncy castle is out of this world. Hmm, I wonder, what would it be like to bounce on the moon? Great idea, Tabs. We can go to the moon and find out. I'm gonna need a rocket booster, excavator arm, and frog legs. Jets, excavator arm, frog legs, confirmed. Okay, let's go explore. The Blippi Mobile is ready to blast off for adventure. And there's the moon! <laughs> yeah! Okay, time to land. Hey, that tickles! <laughs> Who are you? My name's Rocky the Moon Rock because uh, I'm a rock. Hey, Rocky. It's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. We're here to find out what it's like to bounce on the moon. Hmm, I never tried it myself, being a rock. But let me see if I can just get up. All right, then let's bounce. Cha, 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 cha. I'm light as a feather up here. I never knew I could have been having so much fun! Woohoo! It's amazing that we're staying up here this long. Why does it take so long to float down? Because of gravity! It's the invisible force that keeps your moon boots on the ground. It pulls things back down. But, 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 there's way less gravity around the moon than on Earth because the moon is so much smaller. That's why we float for so long. I have the answer to my question. What would it be like to bounce on the moon? It's so fun, and the bounces are really big because there's less gravity on the moon than there is on Earth. Upload answer tabs. We feel like we're floating, but gravity is slowly pulling us back down. Cha, 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 cha. Thanks for the greatest time that I, Rocky the Moon Rock, ever had. <laughs> Bye, Rocky. Keep on bouncing, Blippi. <laughs> Whoa. It's a garbage truck. I can see it and <laughs> smell it too. <coughs> wow, Tabs, even you think it's stinky. And you're a robot. Wait, where's that buzzing sound coming from? Oh, flies. Hey, those flies just flew into the garbage truck. Hmm. I wonder, why do flies love garbage? Good idea, Tabs. We can go into the garbage truck to find out the answer. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Blippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out why flies love garbage. Shrinking Hold your breath, Tabs. We're going in. I'm in the garbage truck. Welcome. <laughs> I'm Horace the Fly. Looks like your first time here. Hmm? 
Hi, horse. It's me, Blippi. This is my first visit to a garbage truck. <laughs> Little stinky, huh? <gasps> Not for me. I love smells. Follow me. I'll show you around. This place is like my playground. <laughs> 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 Whoopsies. Sorry about that. Hey, Horace. Why do flies love garbage? Because it's delicious and garbage makes me fly. We've got stinky beans, moldy cheese, greasy pizza boxes, and even leftover mystery mush. <laughs> Sorry, must have been the beans. I could give you a ride to the nearest garden or fly restaurant. Horace! Where are you? Everything's coming up! Garbage! Oh, was that cake? Oh, no, that was not cake. Still good, though. Got a dash and eat all the trash. Horace has more energy now. Aha, which means I think I have the answer to why flies like garbage. It's because they love the smell and they find food there. That's so silly. <laughs> Upload answer tabs. Yes, sir, Bippy. For me, a garbage truck is a 24 7 all I can eat restaurant. Woohoo! Go, Horace. Thanks. Cheers, Blippi! I love being at the beach. Whoa! A flying fish! Hmm, I wonder, what's underneath the ocean? Good idea, Tabs. We can go into the ocean and find out. I'll need duck feet and a propeller. Duck feet, propeller, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Wow, it's a whole other world down here. Is this like some kind of underwater forest? Exactly, it is a forest. Welcome to my neighborhood. My name's Jerry, Jerry the Jellyfish. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. We're down here to see what's in the ocean. Oh yeah, there's a lot. The ocean's full of surprises. I'll show you. I'm going to meet my friends. Well, I'll give you a tour along the way. All right, thanks, Jerry. First stop, our kelp forest. This kelp can grow up to 150 feet. Wow, that's so tall. Oh yeah, but sometimes the water current around here blows the kelp around. Kelp, kelp. Oh no, this never happens! Great idea, Tabs. Let's use the turbo boosters. Oh good, glad you're okay. Let's move on. Whoa, that fish is blue and has a long nose. She's a blue marlin. She uses her nose to find and catch food. She's also really fast. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no, this never happens. Yeah, Tabs, it is dark in here. Wherever we are. Jerry! Jerry? Blippi, is that you in there? Oh no, hold on. <sighs> Whoa! I scared a gray whale? And she blew you right out of her blowhole? That never happens. Thanks for getting us out of there, Jerry. Oh, you're all lit up. I told you the ocean was full of surprises, didn't I? Hey, look, it's your friends. Hiya, pals. You guys found me. And I found the answer to my question. What's underneath the ocean? There's a kelp forest, blue marlins, huge whales, and a jellyfish that lights up. Upload answer tabs. And we're only on chapter one. In chapter two, there's an octopus, and a shark, and a sea turtle, and a tuna. Bye, Jerry. Oh, and there's an otter, and a seahorse, and a lobster, and a stingray. Activate Blippi Station. It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Mmm, mm, 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 salad. 
Oh, thanks, Tabs. Didn't know this lettuce was stuck in my teeth. I guess a toothbrush would help. Hmm, I wonder, how do you use a toothbrush to clean your teeth? <coughs> Great idea! We can go meet a toothbrush in a mouth. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Let's go explore! Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. It's time to shrink down and go into a mouth. Shrinking down! We're inside a mouth. You're right, Tabs. We need a way to clean these teeth. Would a brush help? Hi, I'm Bill Brushy. And you are? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. I want to find out how to use a toothbrush to clean teeth. Well, you're asking the right brush. Hop on, and I'll show you the best way to clean your teeth. All right. Hey, Bill Brushy, is that toothpaste on your brush part? Yes, sir. It helps keep teeth healthy and food free. Okay, now here's how to brush your teeth. Let's go to the front first. So, small circles on every tooth. Whoa! Okay, that's the front done. Let's go to the back now. We turned, we flipped. Little circles round and round. All right, let's make some more. Circles, circles, circles. These teeth are the molars. I call them the chew crew, since they do most of the work. I know, Tabs. Toothbrushing is a wild ride. Wow! I think I have the answer to my question. How do you use a toothbrush to clean your teeth? It cleans by brushing the front, back, and in between of all teeth in little circle motions. And that pushes all the food out from between the teeth and makes them nice and clean. Upload answer tabs. Thanks for your help, Blippi and Tabs. Remember to brush twice a day for two minutes each time for super sparkling teeth. We will. Thanks for letting us ride along, Brushy. Bye-bye. Even bouncier! Wow, what an amazing sandcastle! Wave incoming! Oh no! Looks like that castle was no match for that wave. Huh, I wonder, can I build a sandcastle that doesn't get washed away? <laughs> yeah, you're right, Tabs. There is only one way to find out. I need to build a sandcastle of my own. I'm gonna need the excavator arm and spider legs. Excavator arm. Spider legs confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Blippy Mobile is ready for action. Let's go make a sandcastle that won't get washed away. Now we need to make ourselves sandcastle size. Drinking down. Feel that cool ocean breeze, Tabs. Hi there, I'm Krabby the Crab. Pleasure to meet you. Ooh, crikey, I don't know my own strength. Hi Krabby, it's me Blippi. And this is my Blippi mobile. I love it. <laughs> so, you out taking a fun ride? Actually Krabby, I'm here because I'm curious if I can build a sandcastle that won't get washed away. You came to the right crab. I'm a planner, digger, and a builder. I can help you, Blippi. Great. So the first thing we're gonna do is build a moat. That's a fancy word for a hole. You see, the water goes into the hole and doesn't wash away what's behind it. So let's dig. <laughs> 
Dig, 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 dig. Whoo! Wow, what a hole! Now let's build a sand castle. You're right, Tabs. We are gonna need a shovel. Finished! Success! You already built it, Krabby. And our moat is perfect. The moat's the hole we dug all around the sandcastle. Great moat! And best sandcastle ever! Wave incoming! The moat worked, Krabby. This means I think I have the answer to my question. Can I build a sandcastle that doesn't get washed away? I can by making a hole around it to mm. catch the water. Upload answer tabs. Thanks, Krabby. See you later, Blippi. Keep on digging. <laughs> The rain will be gone soon, Tabs? Great! Since I just finished my fun painting! Can you guess what it is? Wow, Tabs! Exactly right! It is a penguin holding a cup of tea while rollerblading through a jungle. So many colors! <gasps> Whoa! A rainbow! So many colors! I wonder, how does a rainbow get its colors? Great idea, Tabs! We can fly up and ask the rainbow and find out. But first, I'm gonna need wings! Wing confirmed. Let's go explore! Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out how a rainbow gets its colors. Guys and gals, attention please! The big blue sky is proud to present nature's greatest influencer, I'm Bowie the Rainbow! Whoa! Hey, it's me, Blippi! I'm a big fan, Bowie. I know all your colors. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm very proud of my colors. <laughs> Let me show them off one by one. I don't. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Wonderful job, Lippy. You know, today's a big day. We're doing a double rainbow showstopper. Oh, you must be part of my performance. Really? I'd be honored, but um, I don't know how you get all your colors. Could you show me? Of course, super fan Blippi. First, let's check out this puffy cloud called a cumulus cloud. Ooh, it looks like it just rained too, which is perfect. That means there are lots of water droplets in the air. Wow, this cloud has so many teeny drops of water. Hashtag true. Okay, next step. Position the cloud so the sunlight shines true to water droplets like this. Now, when the light goes true to water, it bends or refracts and separates the light into all the colors of the rainbow. Voila. That is awesome. I think I have the answer to my question. How does a rainbow get all its different colors? It's when... The sunlight shines through water. It bends the light and separates the light into all the colors of the rainbow. Upload answer tabs. A five, six, seven, eight. Wow! Don't forget to like and subscribe. How you doing? All right, see you later, Flippy. It's so hot out today, but my popsicle is melting down my hand. Hmm, I wonder, why do popsicles melt down my hand? What's that, Tabs? Go into that ice cream truck and ask an expert? That's a great idea. I'm gonna need wings, the excavator arm, and duck feet. Wings, excavator arm, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Lippy Station.
the Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out why my popsicle always melts down my hand. Shrinking down! Woohoo! I'm in the ice cream truck. Hi, welcome to my neighborhood. I'm Sherry Pop. Glad you popped in. Hi, Sherry. It's me, Blippi. I was wondering why my popsicle always melts down my hand. Oh, I know that one. But first, let's have some frozen fun. All right. Woohoo! We're ice cream boarding. <laughs> We're sprinkle sliding. I'm chocolate fudge sparkly. Sherry, are you melting? Yes, I'm melting because I'm very warm. But I'll go cool off in the freezer and I'll be fine in a sec. Mmm, ice cold. How's it going in there, Sherry? It's freezy breezy. Now I'm all set. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, it looks super freezing in there. Yep, it's cool to be cold when you're a frozen dessert like me. My ideal temperature is 32 degrees Fahrenheit, zero degrees Celsius. If I keep cool like that, then I won't melt. Good to know. I see you're like my popsicle from earlier. When it was out of the freezer and in the heat of the blippy mobile, it melted on me. Sounds like your popsicle should have come for a visit. You're right. Which means we have the answer to my question. Why my popsicle melts down in my hand. It's because... Popsicles will melt if they get too warm. That's why we keep them in the freezer. Upload answer tabs. Sherry, thank you for a totally tasty adventure. It was so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Stay cool, Flippy. Bye bye. Wow, that's a pretty tall mountain. I'm sure there are way taller mountains, Tabs. Hmm, I wonder, what's the tallest mountain in the world? Great idea, Tabs. We'll go to the Himalayas and find out. I'm going to need wings and the grabber arm. Wings, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find the tallest mountain in the world. Woohoo! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. We're looking for the tallest mountain. I'm climbing it right now. Hi, I'm Betty the Yeti. Yeti. I was just headed to the top. That's where the best snow is. <laughs> Nothing worse than old snow. <clears throat> Can I tag along? I want to see what it's like on top of the tallest mountain. Of course, but get ready. This mountain is super tall. Up so high, and it's much colder up here. Thanks, Tabs. I love hot cocoa. Whoa! Woo! Gotcha. That was a close one. Hey, it's the mountain top. Yeah, we made it. Oh, whoa, it's so windy up here. I got you, Blippi. So what is the name of this mountain? <laughs> it's Tamalangma. Oh, you call it Mount Everest. You're right, Tabs. I have the answer to my question. What's the tallest mountain in the world? It's Mount Everest. It's 
29,035 feet tall. Upload answer tabs. And the snow up here is delicious. <laughs> Snow burps. <laughs> Have a good snow snack. Bye, Betty the Yeti. Bye, Flippy. Whoa, that bird is carrying lots of twigs. Right, Debo. She's bringing them to her nest. Hmm. I wonder, how do birds build a nest? Good idea! Let's follow that bird and see if she'll show us. I'm gonna need wings and a grabber arm. Wings, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station! Mobile is ready for adventure. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Oh no! What happened to your nest? Hi, Blippi and Debo. I'm Jody. My nest was damaged in a storm last night. Oh, don't worry, Eggies. Mama's on a mission to rebuild our nest. We were wondering how you build a nest. Well, I could use an extra wing to look after my two eggs. Debo would love to exit. <laughs> Aw, thanks, Debo. Now, Blippi, can you come with me to get supplies? Grass, mud and twigs. They're all near Jake's place, so we'll need to keep him busy. Very unfriendly. Let's go. A nice birdie! <laughs> Jody, what's the status of that grass? Grass acquired! Time to get the mud! Mud is landing in the nest! Now all we need are some twigs from the end of this branch! This guy again? Oh, oh, thanks, Debo. <laughs> Time to build. First, I make a circle with twigs and grass. Then, add more twig circles higher on top of each other. Whoa, you use your beak to build it. The mud is like glue, holding the nest together. Your nest is fantastic, Jody. And I know the answer to my question. How do birds build a nest? Birds like Jody find natural things like grass and twigs, then use mud to hold it all together. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Bye, Blippi and Debo. Thanks for all your help. Bye-bye, Jody. Bye, eggs. web looks amazing! You're right, Debo! Spider webs do have such artistic designs! I wonder, how do spiders make their webs? Yes! Let's go find a spider to ask! I'm gonna need wings and spider legs! Wings, spider legs, confirmed! Activate Blippi Station! Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Bonjour! I'm Spencer! You're just in time to watch me make my latest artistic creation! Hey! It's me, Blippi! Are you about to make a web? I am! It's going to be my greatest masterpiece! The webbiest web of all time! <gasps> Want to help? Yeah! I really want to learn how spiders make their webs. Time to create! Debo, I'll be right back. Oh, Blippi, you can be my holder and tester. My web will be a circle-shaped design with some triangles in the middle. 
What kind of string do you use to make your web? I use silk strands that I make myself and they shoot out of my stomach. <laughs> to a spider or bug, these strands are as strong as steel. That is so cool! Next, the circles to complete my masterpiece. Can you hold this strand in place, Flippy? Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! It is a circle shape! Ah, perfect! Grab that strand, Flippy, to swing out for a look! Whoa! Amazing! Wait! Is that a picture of me in your web? It is you, my masterpiece. Now you can test it, bounce against it, see if it holds. Whee! Whoa! The sticky part is for catching bugs to eat. <laughs> your web is beautiful and useful, Spencer. And you answer my question. How do spiders make their webs? They use super strong and sticky silk strands to create a web with a cool circular design. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for showing us how you make a perfect web, Spencer. <laughs> bye bye Au revoir! Holy smokes! A volcano! <laughs> That's right, Debo. When a volcano erupts, smoke and hot lava come out the top of it. Hmm, I wonder, what makes a volcano erupt? Great idea! We'll go inside a volcano and find out. I'm gonna need wings, spider legs, and the heat shield. Wings, spider legs, heat shield, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! <laughs> is ready for adventure. Let's go through the side vent into the volcano. Whoa, whoa! whoa it sure is hot in here. Whoa! Hey there, I'm Maggie the Magma Monster. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We want to learn what makes a volcano erupt. You're in for a real treat, Blippi and Debo. Speaking of treats... <laughs> Below us, deep in the Earth, the planet's heat is melting rocks into liquid, also known as magma, like me. <laughs> You're right, Debo. It is like one of our favorite games. The floor is lava! Whoa! Magma becomes lava after it erupts out of the volcano. Whoa. So I guess I'm the floor. <laughs> Whoa! We're getting higher. That's because the more rocks melt below, the more magma rises here in the chamber. Hey, I wonder where this goes. Look out, Blippi! Magma! Phew, that was close. Maggie, you almost fill the whole cavern now. I sure do. And as I grow, the pressure inside the volcano builds until we push through the crust or the top of the earth. Hold on! Whee! Ah, much better. Maggie, what a blast! And I got the answer to my question. What makes a volcano erupt? A volcano erupts when the hot magma inside it builds pressure and bursts through the surface of the Earth. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun, Blippi. Hope you loved it. <laughs> <laughs> we did. Bye-bye, Maggie. Oh, look at that cute little squirrel digging a hole. Did you see her bury that nut? So true, Debo. 
we do need to know the answer. I wonder, why do squirrels bury their nuts? I'm gonna need the excavator arm and wings. Excavator arm, wings, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Look, Debo! This is an acorn! It's a type of nut, and squirrels love them. Here, squirrely, squirrely! We have an acorn over here! Nuts! Nuts! I need more nuts! I can't get enough nuts! Hey! It's me, Blippi! And this is my friend Debo. He found a nut for you. Not? Oh, thanks for the acorn, Blippi. My name is Sparky. I'm kind of a nut expert. Then you have to tell us, Sparky. Why do squirrels bury their nuts? What? You don't bury your nuts? Huh? <gasps> Come with me. No time to waste. We need nuts, 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 and more nuts. <sighs> this is the garden, my favorite place to collect and bury things. You know, I can bury 25 things an hour. That's a lot of burying. How do you remember where you put it all? I keep everything up here in the old furry head. My memory is amazing. You think you can remember like I can? <laughs> you want to try it? We sure do. <laughs> OK, now watch. we do. Easy peasy. Not an acorn. This is harder than I thought. <laughs> Hello, huh? yummy walnut. <gasps> we can't find any acorns. That's right. Because I take special care to hide my nuts so only I can find them. That's how I keep them safe. And then I'll dig them up in the winter when I'm hungry and food is harder to find. So cool! And I found the answer to my question. Why do squirrels bury their nuts? Squirrels bury their nuts and other things so they can eat them later and have enough food during the winter. Upload answer, Devo. <laughs> Bye, Sparky! Bye-bye! <laughs> Keep digging! <laughs> You're right, Debo. This is a kangaroo crossing. And we are in Australia. So, I guess you never know when a kangaroo might... Whoa! Bounce in! Wow! What a spectacular jump! Hmm, I wonder, how high can a kangaroo jump? Great idea! We'll go ask that kangaroo. I'm gonna need frog legs for this adventure. Frog legs, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. We're in the outback, so let's go find a kangaroo. Oh, hi there, I'm Rooney. What brings you to these parts in your cool looking car? Hi, Rooney. It's me, Blippi. And this is Debo. We wanted to see how high a kangaroo can jump. Pleasure to meet you. Well, I can jump as high as your mobile here, but I can jump higher. Oh, Rooney's hopping pretty high and super fast. Ah, you're pretty fast yourself. You up for a little race, Blippi? Sounds fun. All right, let's race around that big sandstone rock down there. We call it Uluru, or Ayers Rock. It's the heart of Australia. Whoa, so cool. And the first bag here wins. You're on, Rooney. By the way, there may be a fence or two in the way. Good to know. <laughs> Jump! Ready to go even higher! 
Tempura! <laughs> Whoa! To the best jumper we've ever seen! And now I have the answer to my question. How high can a kangaroo jump? Kangaroos can jump up to 10 feet off the ground. Upload answer, Debo. That was fun, Blippi. Woo, gotta cool down. That's why I'm licking my arm. It's a kangaroo thing. <laughs> Bye! Bye-bye! Mmm, what's better than a delicious piece of fruit? You're right, Debo. Vegetables are yummy too. Hmm, I wonder, what's the difference between fruits and vegetables? Super suggestion! We'll go into that garden to figure it out. I'm gonna need wings and a grabber arm. Wings, grabber arm, confirmed. Okie dokie, artichokey. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. All right, we're in a community garden where all kinds of fruits and vegetables grow. And look, there's one right now. Step right up. You're the next contestants on Slim Cucumber Certified Fresh Game Show. Fruit of Vegetables. See how those your names. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> Blippi and Debo, a quick review before we start. All fruits have a pit or seeds in them and grow on a plant with flowers. Fruits have pits or seeds and always flowers. Got it. And vegetables are different. There are root and leaves. Got that too. Excellent. Let's play. Tell me, Blippi, is this carrot a fruit? Oh, ooh, the carrot is a vegetable because it's a root and has leaves. That's right! But can Blippi go two for two? So tell me, is this tomato a fruit or a vegetable? Hmm, this is tough. Okay, a tomato grows from a plant, but it has seeds. It's also a vegetable? Oh, sorry. Tomato is a fruit. Now, your final question, Blippi. Can you tell me if this strawberry is a fruit or vegetable? Strawberry is a, a, a fruit. Yes, strawberry is a fruit. A you for two correct answers, which means this trophy is all yours. Wow. Thanks, Mr. Slim. And I also have the answer to my question. What's the difference between fruits and vegetables? Vegetables are roots and leaves. And fruits have flowers in a pit or seeds. Upload answer, Debo. Bye-bye, Mr. Slim. Congrats to you, Blippi. That's our game. I'm Slim the Cucumber, and by the way, I'm a fruit. Tune in next time for our special guest, Madam Mango, on Fruit of Vegetables! Mmm, I love chocolate. Just a little bit now and then. Do you love it too, Debo? Oh, right. Dogs can't have chocolate. It hurts their tummies. Hmm, I wonder, how are chocolate bars made? Great idea! We can go into that chocolate factory and find out. I'm gonna need wings, hovercraft, and a prop engine. Wings, hovercraft, prop engine, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! <laughs> Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Let's go meet some chocolate bars in the chocolate factory. Hey there! You're not Cocoa Beans! I need them so we can start making chocolate bars! <laughs> I'm not a bean, it's me, Blippi!
Blippi, and this is Debo. Hi, Blippi. Hi, Debo. <laughs> I'm Barb the Chocolate Bar. Welcome to my chocolate factory. Thanks, Barb. I'd love to see how chocolate bars are made. Can we come with you? Absolutely. It all begins with cocoa beans. <laughs> These beans come from plants. So, how do beans become a chocolate bar? <laughs> they go on a little journey. First, a bean bath. Next, our beans get roasty and toasty. Then they get made into teeny weeny beans. <laughs> our bean powder then gets mixed with sugar and milk to make them sweet and smooth. <laughs> Woohoo! Come on, Debo, time to ski. <laughs> no, but it'll be fun. It's Chocolate Bar Debo. After the chocolate is cooled into bar shapes, we wrap them and they're ready. Ta da! Whoa, you both look alike. And I have the answer to my question How are chocolate bars made? Cocoa beans get washed, heated, crunched, mixed with milk and sugar, and then cooled down into a chocolate bar. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for a sweet tour, Barb. Anytime. Bye, Blippi. Bye-bye. <laughs>
tune. Upload answer tabs. Thanks for the tour, Mary. That was wild. See ya, Blippi. Time for a shower. A meteor shower! Bye, Mary the meteor. Mmm, yum. These turkey sandwiches are going to be delicious. Oh, what a mess. Hey, look at that fly walk on the ceiling. Hmm, I wonder, how do flies walk on the ceiling? I'm gonna need wings and spider legs. Wings, spider legs, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Hey, Devo, I think I know that fly. It's Horace. Hi, Blippi. How's it going, pal? How did you get on the ceiling? Oh, it's easy. Watch this. Ta da! Wow! Yes, sir. The ceiling is my own personal dance floor. Skip it, but it, dip, 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 Now you try. Here goes. Whoa! Why can't the Blippi Mobile stand on the ceiling, too? What's the trick? Here's the trick. You've got to stick. Stick? Mm-hmm. You see, my feet make a super sticky glue that helps me stick to the ceiling. Here, try some. Don't mind if I do. Here goes. Whoa! Oh, now I stick to the ceiling, too. Look at all that mess! Oh! Oh! The glue has a stuck in place! That's because you're not doing the fly leg twist! The fly leg twist? That's right! Fly glue is so strong that we have to push ourselves off the ceiling to walk! Like this! Like this? You got it! Now let's hit it! Do the fly leg twist, do the fly leg twist, and get your feet unstuck when you go like this. We did it. And I have the answer to my question. How do flies walk on the ceiling? Fly legs have a special sticky glue that keeps them stuck to the ceiling. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> well, I'm off to eat a little bit of dinner now. <laughs> See you later, Blippi. Bye-bye! Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! Oh no! Debo! Look how the water is carrying the frisbee far away towards that island. Hmm, I wonder, why don't islands float away? You're right. Let's go ask the island and find out. I'm gonna need helicopter blades and duck feet. Helicopter blades, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Oh, hello up there. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Evo. <laughs> nice to meet you both. I'm Ivan. Ivan, why don't you float away? Hmm, I think it has something to do with my bottom. Oh, I know. Let's look underwater where my bottom is to find out. Oh, wait. I can't see down there. 
You're right, Debo. It would be great if you sucked up the water so we could see the bottom better. I can't wait to see what's down there. Okay, Debo. Drink up. <laughs> These colorful coral reefs are so beautiful. We can see so much now. And Ivan, you're way bigger than I thought. Thanks. I'm even bigger. You're only at my belly button now, see? Oh, Debo, can you drink up more water so we can see the bottom? Are you okay, Debo? You have so many amazing things on you. Hey, wait. Are we at the bottom now? No, you've reached my knees. Still a bit of a way to go. Do you think you've got one more big gulp left in you, Debo? We're so close to being able to see the bottom. Woohoo! I knew you did. You made it, Flippy! <laughs> You're at my feet! Really? How can you be sure? Because <laughs> it tickles when you walk around! <laughs> Ivan! You're attached to the bottom of the sea! You're like a mountain! <laughs> oh! Zemo! Oh no! Well, that was fun. And now I have the answer to my question. Why don't islands float away? Islands don't float away because they are mountains attached to the seafloor. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for all your help, Ivan. You rock. Hope to see you again. Anytime. I'm here to stay. Bye, bye, Blippi. What's making that sound? Oh, it's a race car. It's going so fast. You're right. The Blippi Mobile could never go that fast. Hmm, I wonder why are race cars so much faster than regular cars? Good idea, Debo. We can go to the racetrack and find out. I'm gonna need race car tires. Race car tires confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> the Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Hi! Are you here to try out the race track? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're actually here to find out why race cars are so much faster than regular cars. Hi, I'm Ricardo. Let me show you on the track. Let's race. All right. Before we race, I have a really important job for you, Debo. I need you to be the captain of the pit stop. During the race, I'll pull in here so you can keep me in tip-top shape. Can you help out and do that job? <laughs> oh, nice try, Debo. But what you'll be doing is gassing up my tank and swapping out my tires. Okay, race time! Helmets on and buckle up! I'm going really fast. Whoa! I'm not even going as fast as I can. Only 180 miles per hour now. Race cars are made out of a lighter material than regular cars. Plus, my shape helps me race easier into the wind. It's called aerodynamics. You and my Blippi Mobile are definitely different shapes. Pit stop, Captain! Do your thing! You can do it, Debo! 
Ricardo, do you have special tires? I do! My tires are wider and softer than regular car tires, so I can go even faster on this super hot track! Thanks, Debo! Now you're even faster! My powerful engine is five times stronger than a regular car's. I can reach my top speed of 220 miles per hour. See you at the finish line, Blippi! Whoa! I'm blown away! But now I have the answer to my question. Why are race cars so much faster than regular cars? It's because race cars are aerodynamic and made out of a lighter material, have special tires to race on the hot track, and a super powerful race car engine! Huh? Upload answer, Debo. Bye-bye, <laughs> Ricardo! Bye, Blippi! Bye, Debo! Ciao! <laughs> Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Whoa, look at that, Tabs. It's an adorable kitty cat. <laughs> and look at those super long whiskers. Hmm, I wonder, why do cats have whiskers? Great idea, Tabs. Let's follow that kitty cat and find out. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinking down! The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Do you see any kitties yet, Tabs? Whoa, what was that? Hey, it's me, Blippi. What's your name? Hit please the name, and treats are my game. Say, you aren't holding out on me, are you? <laughs> holding out on what? Shh. Treats. I can smell them like hot cakes in the morning. They're close. Hurry, follow me. Wait for me. You land so perfectly. My whiskers have special sensors that help keep me oriented, so I always land on my feet. Like this. Aha. Do you think you can fit? My whiskers help me determine if I can fit through the passage without getting stuck. See? I told you. <clears throat> Come on, Blippi. It's so dark. How can you see anything? When I can't see what's around me, my whiskers tell me when something's there. Ah, oh, rats. No treats in here. But we must be close. Come on, y'all. What else can your whiskers do? Even the slightest breeze can tell me information about my environment and what direction a smell is coming from. My whiskers are telling me that the treats are... Woo! There! Woo! Snackpot! <laughs> Would you look at that? Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo. I'm happier than a pig in mud! What a great adventure, Kipley! We found the treats! And I got the answer to my question. Why do cats have whiskers? Cats' whiskers help them navigate their environment and help them keep oriented so they always land on their feet. Upload answer tabs. Bye bye Kipley! Thanks, Blippi. It was great to have you as a sidekick on this adventure. Bye, y'all! Activate 
Activate Blippy Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippy! Whoa! Whoa! That one's blue! <gasps> that one is red, Tabs! Oh, and that one is green! Hmm, I wonder. Why are fireworks different colors? Great idea, Tabs. Let's go investigate. I'm gonna need helicopter blades and a grabber arm. Helicopter blades, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinky Day! Mobile is ready for adventure. Oh, no, 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 no. Never get too close to fireworks. Be safe. Give them some space. Okay. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. We were just wondering how fireworks get their colors. Hi, I'm Penny. I'll spin you a tale all about it. Whee! First, you have to know that fireworks are little rockets filled with black powder, which burns fast and sends the fireworks as high as a thousand feet into the air. Whoa, that's pretty high. Good idea, Tabs. Let's get a better look at the fireworks in the sky. Will you join me in the Blippi Mobile, Penny? Sure. Whoa! Great! Even in the air, remember to stay safe and give them space. So colorful! Packed into the top of the firework are metal salts called stars. Just like different foods have different flavors when you eat them, different metal salts burn different colors when you ignite them. Watch out! Here comes another one, Tabs! Tabs, are you okay? I told you, stay safe and give them space. We should get down to the ground or we'll all miss the big ending. You're right. Let's go. <gasps> Here it comes, the grand finale. Whoa. Whoa, look at that. What an amazing show. And now I have the answer to my question. Why are fireworks different colors? Fireworks are different colors because of the different metal salts they burn. Upload answer tabs. Bye, Penny. Bye, Flippy. Always stay colorful. Activate Flippy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Whoa! What is that? <laughs> You're right, Debo. I think he's setting up for Dia de los Muertos, the Day of the Dead. Hmm, I wonder, how do you celebrate Dia de los Muertos? <laughs> Great idea! We'll go ask him and find out. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> oh, hi, I'm Paco. Paco, what are you making here? I'm making an ofrenda. It's part of a Mexican celebration where we remember the family members who are no longer with us. But I have a problem. What's wrong? I don't remember anything about my great abuela Rosa. I need to know what things she liked so I can make a proper ofrenda for her. <laughs> Great idea, Debo. We can go back in time and meet your great abuela Rosa. Just follow us. I'm gonna need wings. 
Wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Going back in time! Whoa, where are we? Welcome to Mexico! Whoa! Whoa. Great Abuela Rosa? Yes? Hi, it's me, Paco, your great-grandson from the future. <gasps> Hola, mijo! And who are your friends? This is Blippi and Devo. Hello! <laughs> Mwah. Mwah. Hola. What are you doing here? Don't tell me you don't know how to make a proper ofrenda for me. Well... Nope, he doesn't. <laughs> bueno, I will show you all my favorite things. Come on! The first thing huh? I love is riding. Fast! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> My second favorite thing is oranges. They are so juicy and sweet. Mmm. Yeah. <gasps> oh no. We can make orange juice. <laughs> Follow me. Okay, my third favorite thing is musica. I love music! Well then, you must dance! Thank you, Blippi, for helping me learn about my great Abuela Rosa! You're welcome, Paco! And I got the answer to my question. <laughs> to celebrate Dia de los Muertos, you can make an ofrenda with the things that truly represent the spirit of our loved ones. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Bye, Paco! Bye, Blippi! Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Easy, careful now. Whoa, I'm hungry. Ah, this cereal is soggy. Hmm, I wonder, why does cereal get soggy? Great idea, Debo. We'll shrink down and find out. I'm gonna need Wings, duck feet, and the grabber arm. Wings, duck feet, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> Shrinking down. The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. <laughs> Sure is hard. Attention! Whoa! Huh? Who are you? I'm Scooper the Spoon. That's Sergeant Scooper the Spoon to you. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're here to learn why cereal gets soggy. Well, you came to the best of the best. These crunchy pieces of cereal are as hard as nails. The only problem is we got incoming milk in T minus 30 seconds. What huh? happens then? The cereal gets all wet, Blippi. At first, it may seem like cereal is 100% solid, but if you look closely, it's actually porous. That means full of tiny little holes. Good idea, Debo. I'll go gather some intel, and you stay here on the lookout. Shrinking down again! It's like a cave made of cereal. All those holes you're flying through are open space for milk to fill and make the cereal soggy. Then it expands and falls huh? apart. 
Mission to huh? complete. Now that the milk has infiltrated the cereal, we've got to scoop fast before the cereal gets soggy. We're on it. Oh no! I got it. You see, in the few minutes the cereal has been in milk, it has absorbed the liquid through the hole. I'm not like how a sponge absorbs water. With your help, we got all the cereal out safely. Well done, troops. Thanks, Sergeant Scooper. And I got the answer to my question. Why does cereal get soggy? Cereal gets soggy when milk fills in the tiny holes of the cereal and causes it to expand and fall apart. Upload answer, Debo. Goodbye, Blippi. Bye-bye, Sergeant Scooper. Thanks for the scoop. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. All right, let's have a picnic. There are a bunch of ants, Tabs, and they're all walking together. Hmm. I wonder, why do ants walk in a line? Good idea, Tabs. We can shrink down to ant size and find out. I'm gonna need spider legs. Spider legs, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinking down! The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Ah, y'all, welcome. I'm Anita, and this is my group of amazing ants. Hey, it's me, Blippy, and this is Tabs. Anita, we're here to find out why ants walk in a line. Well, jump on in our line and find out. We're going to get snacks for a big old potluck back home. Thanks, Anita. Sounds yummy. You betcha. Well, hi, Maribel. Oh, my, that snack you have looks delish. So, where'd you find the food? A heap of thanks for the info, Maribel. We ants exchange information through our antennas. Let's go, y'all. <gasps> Uh-oh. Nice birdie. <laughs> ah! Whoa! Hello? Hello? Anita? Hello, we're here. Right back on the trail, sweet pea. There's a trail? I don't see it. You can't see it because it's a smell. When we walk, we drop a scent, and the ants behind us smell it using their antennas. So ants have antennas instead of noses? <gasps> Look, your antennas are twitching. That's right, my antennas are twitching because they sense something tasty in this direction. Careful, y'all, bumpy road ahead. <laughs> And Nita led us right back to our picnic blanket. My word. Okay, ants, let's get some food. Remember, teamwork makes the dream work. Whoa! <laughs> Grapes are good. Walnuts are yum. Cheese and crackers. I'm tickled pink. I can't believe that ants can lift all that. Yes, sir. We ants can carry more than 10 times our own body weight. Okay, y'all, let's hop on that trail and follow the scent back home. Just like follow the leader. Now I have the answer to my question. 
Why do ants walk in a line? Ants walk in a line because the ant in front drops a trail of smells behind her and the other ants follow it. <laughs> Upload answer tabs. Bye, Anita. Great to be in a line with y'all. <laughs> bye bye, Blippi. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Whoa, look at all those adorable penguins. Look at them sliding on their bellies and waddling around. Wow, I think those penguins are flying. Wait a minute, those aren't penguins. You're right, Debo. I don't see any penguins flying. Hmm, I wonder, can penguins fly? I'm gonna need duck feet and flippers. Duck feet, flippers. Confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Shrinky down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Gangway! Huh? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> hey! Me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We were wondering, can penguins fly? Hi, Blippi. I'm Pepper. I really want to fly. I just need to find the elusive shimmer stripe iceberg. The shimmer stripe iceberg? Yeah, it's the biggest iceberg around. Once I find it, I think I'll finally be able to fly. Come on, let's go. I prefer tobogganing over waddling. It's much faster. All right! Here we go! Whee! Ice slide detour! I'm gonna catch some serious air! Watch this! Yay! Whoop! Pepper? <laughs> Almost got it. We just need to find the Shimmer Stripe Iceberg. Then I really should be able to fly. Let's do it! Not this one. No shimmer stripes here. Whoa! Woohoo! Where could it be? Whoa! It's the shimmer stripe iceberg! Yeah! Woohoo! Here we go! Whoa! Come on, Debo! Yeah! <laughs> All right. Are you ready to catch some serious air? We were born ready! Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah! Whoa! Whoa, hey, dudes! <laughs> whoa, uh. whoa, whoa, whoa! Did you see that? I guess it's not the same as flying, but we did catch some serious air. Pepper! You're soaring! I am? Ooh, ooh. You're right. I can really soar underwater. <laughs> Whoa! And I got the answer to my question. <laughs> Penguins can't fly, but they're great swimmers. <laughs> they also have flippers instead of wings, which help them swim through the water. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> I'm gonna go catch some serious waves now. Bye, dude! Bye, Pepper! Whoa! That was a gigantic truck! You're right, Debo. I think that was a monster truck. Hmm, I wonder, what makes a monster truck special? Good idea! We can catch up with that monster truck and find out. I'm gonna need monster truck wheels. Monster truck wheels confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Debo? <laughs> Whoa, Debo! 
you have the monster truck wheels attachment? <laughs> You're like a monster truck. All right, let's ride. Debo the monster truck is ready for adventure. Crash, crash. <laughs> It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. You really crushed that car. Hi, Blippi. I'm Megan. So, Megan, we're here to find out what makes a monster truck special. Cool. Well, I think the best way to answer your question is to show you what I do. Great. You see, I'm a monster truck with big, tall monster tires. I'm 13 feet. Tall! Wow! Let's do this! All right! <laughs> huh? Huh? Crash! Ah. We can't bounce as high as you, Megan! And oh boy, we're almost tipping over! Well, I have heavy duty suspension with your special springs so I can bounce way! up and down and not tumble over. <laughs> I use them when I race Whoa. and have competitions. Cool! Whoa. Yeah! Welcome aboard, Flippy! Buckle up! It's time to dominate the obstacle course. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! This is awesome! How can you turn and zigzag so fast? I have something called four-wheel steering, so I can turn all four oh. wheels at once, instead of just two wheels like a lot of regular trucks. Oh. Ah. Oh. Us monster trucks are built for short, high-powered bursts of speed. I nailed that! Megan, that was amazing! And I have the answer to my question. What makes a monster truck special? Monster trucks are a special kind of truck with big tires, heavy duty suspension, and four wheel steering. Upload answer, Debo. Bye, Megan! It was so cool to ride with you! Bye, Blippi! Keep on crushing! <laughs> Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! You look like a fireman! Now you look like a construction worker! <laughs> You're a natural cowboy, Debo! <laughs> hmm, I wonder, what is it like to be a cowboy? Let's find out! I'm gonna need a grabber arm! Grabber arm confirmed. Activate Flippy Station! The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure! Uh, uh, hey! Do you know any cowboys? Whoa, there. <laughs> Howdy, I'm Hampton the Horse. What brings you two down to the for? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're here to learn what it's like to be a cowboy. Well, you certainly rode into the right ranch. Giddy up. But first, we've got to get you looking the part. All right. I see you got your hat on, partner. Looking good. <laughs> yeah, Blippi, grab yourself a hat and a bandana. See, cowboys wear these wide brim hats to protect themselves from the sun and the rain. Ah, much better. Now you looking good. Yeah, cowboy! But they're also useful for gathering water when you need a drink. Cool! Ooh! Whoa! Uh oh! <laughs> Whoopsie! <laughs> Cowboy hats are also good for moving a cow in the right direction. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> hey! 
No worries there, Blippi. Being a cowboy is so much more than just having the right clothes. Like what? Riding horses is a big part of the job. It's how cowboys got around before corn, and it allows us to herd cattle without scaring. Hop on. Let's ride. <laughs> Maybe we should slow down. Oh, I think I'll stick to the Blippi Mobile. <laughs> That's actually perfect, since we have loose cattle to rank. We gotta spread out and move in the direction of the cows to go toward the pen. Yeah. Ah, this way. Let's get a wiggle on. That means let's go. Yeah. Yippee! <laughs> Well done, Blippi. You wrangled those cows like a real cowboy. Being a cowboy is hard work. Sure is. But it makes the day worthwhile. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for helping me find the answer to my question. <laughs> Cowboys wear big hats, ride horses, and wrangle cattle. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for making us feel at home on the range. Anytime, City Slicker. <laughs> Ha! Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! You're right, Debo. The snow has blocked the Blippi Mobile. Hmm, I wonder. How are we gonna get out of here? Whoa! I'm an excavator, a snowy excavator. Hey, snow! I'll see you later, snowy excavator. I've got a great big arm Whoa. with a great big boom. If I start shoveling now, the road will be clear soon. I'm a frost devastator.
Look at all the blinking fireflies! One, two, three! One, two, three! Oh, I love counting! Don't you, Debo? <laughs> hey, get back here, you silly! What you got there, Debo? Hmm, I wonder, why do fireflies light up? I'm gonna need wings! Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Look at all those different flashing patterns! Maybe it's a counting game! One, two, three! One, two, three! Whoa! <laughs> Whoops! Hey! It's me, Blippi! I was wondering, why do fireflies light up? Hey! I'm Felicia! And if there's one thing you gotta know about us fireflies, it's that we are all about that blink! One, two, three! One, two, three! <laughs> You again? <laughs> Just try and catch me this time. Debo! <laughs> I like your style, Debo. <laughs> I've never seen moves like that. One, two, three. One, two, three. When fireflies blink, it's because they like another firefly style. And with style like that, I just can't stop. Everybody, stop! Oh, no! Not today, froggy boy. Felicia saves the day. <sighs> Works every time. Fireflies also light up when there is danger around. Oh, like a warning signal to predators to stay away? Yep. Nope, not my style. Not bad, but nah. Hey, Blippi, will you help me find a firefly with a blinking style like mine? You mean like a counting game? Yeah. Do you remember my flash pattern? One, two, three. One, two, three. That's it! We found your match! Now that's my style. <laughs> what a great adventure! And I got the answer to my question. Why do fireflies light up? Fireflies light up to warn predators to stay away and to help them find other fireflies with the same blinking style. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for your help, Blippi! Bye, Felicia! One, two, three! One, two, three! Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! Driving at night is so much fun! And we have the streets all to ourselves. Whoa! What was that? It's pretty late for animals to be out. You're right, Debo. That's definitely an animal. Hmm, I wonder, why do some animals come out at night? I'm gonna need a grabber arm. Grabber arm confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find that nighttime animal. Ah! Oh. My name is Rita the Raccoon! What's yours? Hey! It's me, Blippi, and that's Debo. We were wondering why some animals, like you, are out at night. See, I'm not 
nocturnal. That means that everything you like to do in the daytime, I like to do at nighttime. So cool! Hey, do you think this thing can help me find some food? Of course! I think the Blippi Mobile could do almost anything! Oh, look at her go! Debo, follow that raccoon! You aren't supposed to use the Blippi Mobile without permission. That's stealing. Sorry! Us raccoons will do almost anything for food. <laughs> I'm freezing, Rita. It's so cold at night. Aren't you cold too? Me? No way! I've got this big fur coat that helps me keep nice and warm all night. <laughs> I wish I had a big coat or something to keep me warm. <laughs> Whoa! Look out! It's okay, Flippy! Look! Oh, thanks, Rita! That's another great thing about being nocturnal. A lot of the animals that want to chase me are asleep. I like it better with less unfriendly predators around. <laughs> Something smells good. Let's go! To the Blippy Mobile! This time I'll drive! <laughs> That looks complicated, Rita. How are you going to open it? No problem. Raccoons are great problem solvers, as long as there's food involved. Ha! Jackpot! With less animals around, I don't have to share all of this great food. What an amazing adventure. And I got the answer to my question. Why do some animals come out at night? Some animals like to come out at night because there is less competition for food, there are fewer predators and people around, and because it's cooler at night. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Goodbye, Blippi! I'm off to greener dumpsters! Bye bye Rita! Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Whoa, look at all those elephants. Hmm, I wonder, what do elephants use their trunks for? You're right, Debo. We should go ask one and find out. I'm gonna need a water hose and duck feet. Water hose, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> the Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. <laughs> Yikes! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Me, Blippi, and that's Debo. Hey, we were wondering, what do elephants use their trunks for? Hi, Blippi and Debo. I'm Tempo. <laughs> Whoa! We elephants use our trunks to help cool down by sucking up water and spraying it on our body. Like this? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go down the slide again. Race you to the show. You're on! First! Whoa! How could you breathe underwater? That's another great thing about my trunk. I can breathe through it. Wow! Just like my nose! <laughs> <coughs> exactly. Hey, speaking of noses... I smell bananas. Elephants have an excellent sense of smell. Come on, hop on my back. Oh, boy! Thank you! Look, an 
another slide! I wish we could go down that one, but the path is blocked! Check this out! Another great thing about trunks is that I can move just about anything! Last one down is a banana peel! Whoa! This is the best day ever! Whoa! Ready or not, here I come! use their trunks to make sounds, like when we are excited! That's amazing! <laughs> Thank you, Tembo, for helping me find the answer to my question. What do elephants use their trunks for? Elephants use their trunks to smell, breathe, make sounds, suck up water, and even grab things! <laughs> Upload answer, Devo! Bye, Blippi! See you next time you're in the savannah! Bye-bye! Tembo! <laughs> we had such a blast! Wow! Look at those birds! Whoa! Wow! Look at all these animals we're finding! Maybe we'll find the king of the jungle next! That's not the king of the jungle. King of the jungle? Wait, are, are you looking for a lion? Well, there's not really any lions in the jungle. You gotta go to the savannah for that. Out there! Hmm, I wonder. Why are lions called the king of the jungle? Whoa! <laughs> lion! Cool! Hey! It's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. Hello, Blippi and Tabs. I'm Jabari, the king of the jungle. I was just sharpening my kingly skills on the lion obstacle course. The lion obstacle course? That's so cool. Would you like to train with me? If you complete the course, I'll make you honorary lions. Yeah! <laughs> Our first lesson is here, where you will learn to sneak like a lion. Sneak like a lion. Got it. Shh. Not so loud, Blippi. You will scare off the prey. The prey? The prey is the butterfly. Oh, I get it. Sneaky. Ow! <laughs> Not bad for a first try. Yeah! Let's try the next lesson. Jumping! Crouch down and feel your energy. Then, when you are ready, release the energy and jump! Are you ready, Tabs? Jump like a lion! Yes! Great job! Now there's one more lesson. Hop on my back and hang on tight! Yay! Ooh. Welcome to the Roaring Arena! To roar like a lion, follow along. First, find your power. Lift up and roar! Way to go, Blippi and Tabs! You are now honorary lions! Roar! Thanks, Jabari. We had so much fun. And I got the answer to my question. Why are lions called the king of the jungle? Even though lions are called king of the jungle, they actually live on the savanna. Lions are sneaky hunters, big jumpers, and have really loud roars. Upload answer tabs. See you next time we're in the savannah, Jabari. Goodbye, Blippi and Tabs. Come back and roar with me anytime. Land ho! Hide our 
treasure, First Mate Debo. <laughs> I love playing pirates. Yar, me too. What is it, Debo? <laughs> Whoa! Wow! It's a treasure map. Hmm, I wonder. How do you find buried treasure? I can help. X is where the treasure is buried. So cool! But how do we get to the X? First, we need to figure out where we are. Do you see anything you recognize from the map? Hey! That elephant-shaped rock looks just like the one on the map. Now you see those dashes? According to the map scale, each dash is equal to one step. Hmm, there's five dashes, so that's five steps. Right! Huh? And according to my compass watch, we need to walk five steps north, which is this way. One, two, three, four, five. The map says we need to climb up the tree. How are we gonna do that? Look, a rope ladder. Nice work, first mate Debo. Treasure, here we come. Whoa, a secret door. But how do we open it? This hopscotch grid is on the map. <gasps> I've got it! Blippi, try hopping only on the blue squares. All right! We did it! Let's go! X marks the spot! <laughs> Woohoo! We found the treasure! And I got the answer to my question. How do you find buried treasure? To find buried treasure, you need a map. And to follow the directions written on it to find the X. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Let's see what's inside. The Great Big Book of Curiosity? Whoa! What a curious kind of treasure. Huh? Yeah! Whee! Whee! Yay! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Who were they? Let's go find out! <laughs> Fetch, Debo. Whoa! I should have built a bigger moat. Huh? Sorry about your castle, Krabby. Oh, it's okay. There's plenty of sand to rebuild it. Good question, Debo. Hmm, I wonder. Where does sand come from? To answer that, you'll have to go to the top of Mount Peaky. To the top of Mount Peaky we go. I'm gonna need wings and frog legs. Wings, frog legs, confirmed. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Whoa! It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Hey there, I'm Wayne the Boulder. I just woke up from the best dream. I was a grain of sand living atop a sand castle in a beach paradise. That's so cool. And I want to make my dream a reality. <laughs> Erosion is a process that usually takes millions of years. But let me break it down for you. Cannonball! Whee! <laughs> Look, I'm already smaller. 
Erosion usually takes so long, but I'm feeling ambitious today. Yeah, let's go. Activate propeller. Propeller confirmed. I'm having a lot of fun, Blippi. <laughs> Me too. Whirlpool! Whoa! Erosion makes me dizzy. Water slowly breaks down rocky surfaces, but this whirlpool is really speeding things up. Activate Turbo Booster. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah! Whoa! Look how small I am. Shrinking down! Wow, Wayne, you're so small we can barely keep up. Here's the secret to keeping up. You gotta... Whoa, whoa. 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 <laughs> Catch that fish! Whoa, Wayne, you're tiny! Yup, <laughs> even fish play a part in the process of erosion. Now let's go find my dream castle. Whoa! Oh boy, here we go! Ah, there, my sand castle's complete. Ah, I did it! My dream came true. Thanks for being a gem during my erosion. It was a blast. And I got the answer to my question. Where does sand come from? Sand comes from big boulders as they break into smaller pieces through a process called erosion, which usually takes millions of years. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Buh bye bye Goodbye! See you later!